Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you everything you need to know about digital multimeters from the basic and safety standards and pro tips you won't find in the manual. Let's get started. The layout of all digital multimeters is pretty much the same. They usually have a few button in some model, a selector knob, a display, three or four terminal, two prop in black and red color, and in some model we have a multifunction circuit. We can measure the sum components with this circuit and very simple. Knowing the symbol is really important and I'll explain them. There are many type of multimeters. Some of them have extra features like a measuring capacitor, inductors, frequency, temperature and others. These are multimeters come in two main types, auto ranging and manual ranging. The only difference is that auto ranging model choose the range by themselves so you don't have to set it but in manual ones you need to set the range by yourself using a selector like this model the power button this is used to the turn the device on and off in basic model the power function is built in the selector knob like this model in some model we have a auto power off which means if you forgot to turn the multimeter off it will automatically shut down after short time pk hold button there is another useful function in some models this function is designed to capture on a stable value when is turn on the multimeter hold the highest value you measured in some model this function isn't automatically you need to press the hold button by yourself let's show you we're gonna measure the voltage of three lithium battery connect the props As you can see, it holds the highest value it's measured. DC AC button. This button switches between DC and AC voltage or current. In some model, this setting can be changed using the selector, like at this model. Another button you might see in some model is a BL, which stands for backlight. It turns on the screen light. The multimeter's terminal. At the bottom of the device, we see several ports, usually four or three terminals. The black one with labeled COM is a common. The black prop always connected here. And red prop is using in other parts. The port labeled V O H Z used for measuring voltage, resistance, and frequency. It may be different in some model, like this model V O milliamp. It's common and uh, it's a DC current maximum 10 amps the port labeled MA is for measuring low current under 2000 milliamps to measure transistor, capacitor, temperature and inductors if supported by your device this part is used you can see CX is a capacitor measurement, LX is inductors, HFE is transistor, 
that's a temperature. In some model capacity measurement is done by high current port, this port, uh, which is clearly marked on the multimeter. In other ranging models, all measurement except for current usually is specified on single part. You can see here. Some model also have a special circuit for transistor like this model. But in this model, you can test the components by using the props and also the multifunction circuit. With this circuit, you can measure the capacitor inductors or transistors, even resistors or diodes. I show you how to correctly measure all the commonly used components in the next part. Stay with me. And finally, the port level 20 amp is for measuring higher current, maximum 20 amps. But there's more. You also see level like a fuse and 10 second maximum near high current port but what does that mean it means the output parts the current output protect by an internal fuse if you drag current for more 10 seconds in high current port the fuse might blow or even damage the device so where are the fuses when should you check them and what happens if a fuse blows? To find this answer, stay with me. To find the fuses, you first need to remove the rubber casing. It's kind of shock protector that some model have. There is a small cover here that holds the fuses and battery. But be sure to read the warning before opening the device. Let's open it. We have a two fuse and a battery. This fuse for the low current output and this fuse for high current output 20 amps in this model we have a two fuses because all current ports protect by fused you see that in some model you need fully open the back cover to reach the battery and fuses like this model. Let's open it. From there you can change the fuses if you need or battery. If the battery get weak need to be replaced. When the battery icon appears on the screen, it means the battery is low and should be replaced. If you don't replace the battery, the device might not work properly and some function may not give accurate result. You can see. Always use the correct battery because using the wrong type battery can damage your multimeters. In models with only one fuse, it's usually written on the device which part the fuse is for. In this example, the fuse for low current, as you can see, 200 milliamps maximum. And the high current port is unfused, so a small mistake can damage the device. I show you the correct way to measure high current shortly. If the fuse is blown, your multimeter is still turned on and all the features will work. Like 
I turn the multimeter and remove all fuses. All features work except for current measurement because it's fused. If the fuse is blown, the current ports stop working. To check if fuse is good or not, first remove them and connect the prop to the multimeter. One prop to com, common and other two resistance. Set the multimeter on the diet mode and turn on the device. And check the continuity of the fuse. If the fuse is fine, you hear a beep continuity. And if you haven't a buzzer on your device, you must see a small resistance value. Look. That fuse is fine. Another one. Also this is fine. You can use the resistance mode. Set the multimeter on lowest resistance value and check again. As you can see we have a resistance value. This fuse is fine. And also this fuse is fine. This is a burnout fuse. Look, we haven't any resistance value or continuity. This fuse is burnt out. Remember, always use standard fuses so they can protect your device by cutting the circuit when need. Save the standards. Here you can see a warning symbol and the word cat. The user should know what is mean before using the device. The word cat stands for category and these are safety rating that show how resistant and safe the multimeter is when used around high voltages and different working environments. Before buying a multimeter always check its safety rating first. Cheap multimeters may not have any safety level at all. If your multimeter doesn't have a CAT safety standard, using it on high voltage cause the device to explode or even catch fire. And there is also a risk of electric shock. To work with main electricity, your multimeter should have at least a CAT 2 rating or higher. In this table, you can see the safety standard for multimeters in different condition. And it's important to understand them. CAT 1. This category is suitable for low voltages, isolated internal circuits such as electronic boards and Arduino projects. CAT 2. With this safety level, you can safety test devices connected to main electricity, such as laptops, household appliances, printer, and wall outlet. CAT 3. A multimeter rated CAT 3 allows you to safety measure power distribution system, such as electrical panel, stronger voltage fluctuations, industrial insulations, and other things. CAT 4. This is the highest level of safety for measuring equipment, like a multimeter. With a CAT4 rating, you can safety test everything mentioned about, plus electric meters, main service panel, and outdoor power lines. For measuring high voltage, it's recommended to use clamp multimeter. The multimeter I have has a CAT4 safety rating. But remember, working with high voltages is dangerous 
and having a safety rating alone is not enough. You also need to follow other safety measures like uh, wearing insulated clothes and boots when working with high voltage. Now you know the basics, the controls, safety rating and how to keep your multimeter ready for any job. In part 2 we'll get hand on measuring and test all components using the high current ports and advanced tip for pros. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. Farewell.